Welcome everyone to another exciting year of Deep Racer. This year, 2024, Student League looks to be really interesting and fascinating as they've changed the, the way they've set up the, the console itself. I'm gonna go through those details in a second here. But I wanted to call out all high school and college students who may be interested in learning about machine learning, learning about reinforcement learning. You, this competition is open for you. So if, as long as you're over 16 years old, you can use the, the free resources here at AWS to do to uh, train a model 10 hours a month and try to win the, the prize of getting a scholarship. So check it out, really good. I have the website here in front of me right here. Um, the 2024 season is warming up. There's a preseason race going on. I'm gonna talk about that today. And I'm gonna explain how to sign up. So signing up is pretty straightforward. You go to student.deepracer.com and, and I'm gonna type in my password here. Uh, oh, I need an uppercase letter, okay. Uh, sign up. Oh, I gotta verify my code. Give me a second while I do that. All right. All right, so we get the welcome screen here. Uh, so what does it say? Welcome to AWS Deep Racer student. We can learn, we can compete some prizes. Let's do it, compete for prizes. Let's, let's jump right into it. All right, so I'm gonna complete the sign up. So I'm gonna type in, okay, just asking for some information here. Uh, my name is Boltron, last name Wolf, the school, where did I go to school? Uh, good question. I'm just gonna pick anything here just for the example, right? Uh, maybe computer science would make sense here. And uh, I already graduated, but just again, only for the purposes of the demo here, I'm gonna say I'm graduating in 2024. Please don't lie on this, type in your actual information. If you put in the wrong info, you may not get the prize if you actually win it, right? So. All right, so we got in here and this is what the race looks like right now. There's 20 days remaining as of today. Today is February 10th, the day of, that I'm recording this. And let me just walk you through what you look, what you would see, right? We have a couple of open races. The, the preseason practice session is going on. Great time to learn how to build a model. Uh, if if you scroll down, we see that there's a US country uh, ranking as well as a North American or, or regional ranking. And depending on where you are around the world, you see obviously different things here, depending on how you signed up. So if I look at the leaderboard, uh, I like going to the race board, the race leaderboard. It takes a few moments to load up. Let's give it a second here. Uh, you can already see that there's 440 participants in the US, 4,000 around the world. So competition is definitely heating up. It looks like the fastest so far, uh, actually the world leader right now is one trick pony. But look at that tiny difference. All right, this is taking a long time to load up. Let's give it a second. So as you can see, it's really easy to sign up. It takes a couple of moments. Uh, you put in your school information and that's it. So how do you train a model? Well, you go over here to the left nav bar, go to practice, go to your models, and you would create a model. Notice you cannot uh, import a model that you created on your local computer. You have to do it within the console. All right. so. Uh, let's just come through. You give it a name. First model. Oh, maybe not. No space is allowed. And this month's track is Debro Raceway. And it's going counterclockwise. All right. Sounds good. We'll train on this. 
Uh, there's two options, PPO or Soft Actor Critic. I don't know anyone that's had luck with the Soft Actor Critic method, so I would highly recommend PPO. And there's a couple of examples that you can start off with. Follow the center line, stay within borders. There's one that uh, prevents zigzags, supposedly. Uh, I'm just going to click on follow the center line. And of course, you can change. The whole point of this is to actually tweak this function so that uh, you can be more competitive, right? So just to walk very quickly, just to walk very quickly through this this particular example is essentially saying if I'm more than a certain percentage away from the center of the of the track, um, I get a, a smaller reward. If I'm near the middle of the track, I get a higher reward. So the closer I am, I get the full reward of one. If I'm a little further away, I get a 0 0.5 reward value. And if I'm really far away, 0 0.1. And if I've gone off the track, I get a value very close to zero. And every step that the car takes, it gets uh, assigned a reward value according to this function. And the algorithm will try to optimize the decisions that would lead it to gather the largest reward over time, right? Over the, the course of, uh, of driving on the track. All right, so once we, you can edit this, make it different, and have, I'm gonna have lots of videos about alternative reward functions. You, but once you finish with your reward function, you click on next, right? You choose how long you wanna train the model. This is really critical. You only have 10 hours of training time per month. So uh, if you're just learning how to do this, I would say limit to 60 minutes at a time just to get a feel of it. And then when you, you're you confident that you're, or you're feeling good about your reward function, then you can then increase the model time. I myself have trained for 10 hours, just do it in one shot. But again, I really, I already knew how the model was gonna perform, right? So just be cautious about that. You don't wanna blow your budget too fast. You put uh, 60, you can add a description here if you want. Um, what is this? Okay, and this is the, the country. You definitely want to put your own country. Uh, let's see, I'm putting United States. That's where I'm at. And then you would be, uh, I guess, your regional. This would affect, you know, where you are in uh, your region, right? So there might be some regional awards as well. Like, so if you, uh, you have to check this box off if you want to um, include it in the, on the leaderboard itself. All right, so you just click train your model and you're all set. So that's basically it. I uh, hope that was helpful. Do not be afraid. <laughs> this is free, right? It's all free. So jump right into it. Try it out. You're not losing anything. You're going to learn. So uh, just try it out. And then again, next month, it's going to reset. Next month, you get a full 10 hours again. So this is the time to play around. It's preseason time. Now it's the time to just get familiar with the tool and see what you can do. All right, good luck out there. And as always, uh, check out the channel, uh, subscribe for new videos. I'm going to be making a big push on Student League this year. I really want to help you guys out. Uh, all I ask in return is that you subscribe. It's totally free. It doesn't, doesn't cost you anything. Uh, I like the video. Please help uh, feed the algorithm. There you have it, folks. Team Boltron. Stay tuned for more. Make sure to subscribe and click that like button if you want to see more of this content.